Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's Wire Lady TV. And this is a show where I do all kinds of special requests for different things out of wire. I troubleshoot designs, so I prepare my sketches in advance. And then I spend about an hour working out different designs. I usually have special requests. This week, uh, nobody had asked for anything, so I thought, why don't I do some llamas? So that's what I'm doing today. And if you're wondering about my shirt, these are this is my friends in Ottawa. They have a uh, art space called Possible Worlds, and they do all kinds of amazing silk screening and different art activities there. So that's in Ottawa in the Arts Court. And Melanie sent me a shirt, which I love. So I'm going to flip the screen and see what's going on, see who's hopping on. So let me just do that now and we will get started. So you guys can let me know if you see my table and also let me know where you're watching from and let me know what wire art and jewelry you are working on. So I am going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see your comments. Right now, I cannot see anything. So we are going to see, I'm gonna open this up, turn off my sound, and we have Amber. Hi, Amber, Tree Sap Girl, if you guys don't already know is Amber. She's the moderator of my YouTube channel and the creator of the wonderful timestamps when you guys need to hop to the section of the live stream that you need. Hi, Kathy, hi, Ruby. Excellent. Everybody is hopping on. So today we're going to do some llamas. Uh, I do not know which one I'm going to do. I've done very plain wire llamas before, but I've never done anything a little more ornate. So I did a bunch of sketches. We're going to figure out what we can do with these. And as always, I usually start with 20 gauge wire. It's just the easiest. So let's get some 20 gauge wire. Hi, Mirta. Llamas. Yes. So there we go. So let's get going. I have my flush cutters. I have my uh, flat pliers, my tweezer nose pliers, and I'm missing a couple of pairs of pliers. I'm not very well prepared. So let me grab my other pliers. They are just in my stuff here. There we go. I forgot my favorite round nose pliers. So here we have my fine round nose pliers and my bigger ones and I also have looping pliers if I need them and then all kinds of round forms. So we are going to get started and I'll start with a simple one as always. I find it's the easiest thing to do so let me cut a piece of wire and I should probably measure it as well. I'm just going to clip that off there and I'm just going to eyeball it. We're going to cut about maybe 12 to 15 inches, maybe a little bit more just to be sure because I'm not sure. I'd better to cut too much than not enough and we will just go for it. So let me know in the comments what you guys are working on these days. We, um, we've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot of rings and stuff, a lot of flat wire things on my channel. So I'm just going to go for it and do a, like follow one of these designs. So I could keep it simple or I could do it a little bit more complicated. Maybe I'll do one with the kind of roundy type sheep-like fur and then we'll go from there. So why don't we go ahead with that? And I think I'm gonna start with the face to make it a little bit easier and we're going to see how it goes. So I'll just take this and move these ones out of the way, making a stand with some beautiful rose gold wire. Ah, very nice. I love that. Can't wait to see it. So let us go ahead and maybe I will start with the nose. Why don't we try that? Let's just start with the nose. So I'm going to leave a little bit of extra. The nose, it's a little bit triangular. I'm a little bit limited because I don't want to make it too big either. So, and it's always a tricky to know where to start. So if I start with the nose, we're just going to bring this one down. And just a heads up, next week I'm on vacation, so I might or might not do a live stream. I'm I'm going to be in Toronto, so I might do a live stream from there, and if not, I'll let you guys know. And if I do do one, it would be Wednesday, but later in the day. 
So I will let you guys know about that. And um, I might or might not upload a Tip Tuesday as well. So uh, just if, if ever you want updates about that, you can go into the community section. So here's the little nose, which is really cute. So little nose. And then we just gotta do some little, and the, it, I think, I think um, they're pretty pointy, their noses. And we're gonna go ahead and do some eyes. And I hope I'm not gonna run out of wire. So we're gonna bring this one, we'll do one little eye there. And then another little one over here. Yeah, and we're really gonna hope we're not gonna run out of wire because that is disappointing when you have a nice design and then you run out of wire. So here's the eyes. Let me make sure I stay in the screen. Okay, so that's super cute, the face. That's very cute. And then we want to do the ears sort of stick up. So let's go ahead and the ears are funny. They kind of point in a little bit, but you can do ears any way you want. And they're a little pointy. So although I don't want them too pointy, I don't want them to look like devil ears. So I might just make them large like that and bring this one around here and then down. And now this one, I think I'm gonna bring this to the back and this is gonna form the little loop at the top. So we're just gonna curve this around here and then that'll go straight up and we can make a loop to hang the pendant after. And now we wanna do the other ears. So we're gonna bring this one around. Might end up looking like a bunny ear but that's okay. We're gonna bring this one around here. Oh, and I haven't really done a bunny live stream doing rabbits, which are my favorite animal, but what I'm gonna do is I found out that National International Bunny Day lands on a Wednesday in the month of September. So look out for that. International Bunny Day is um, September. 23rd, it's a Wednesday, so I will be doing bunnies on that live stream. So if you guys are bunny fans like me, you can hop on Wednesday the 23rd and I will be doing bunnies. So we've got the face. We're going to bring this one around and this is what I've got so far. So hi Peggy. So now we have the little, here's the little face, super cute. And if you want to do, we could do it. We could start the fur there or we could bring it down a little bit further because because the llamas have quite big long necks. So I'm going to just bring it down a little bit and then start doing to give it the impression of curly hair. So I'm just going to go down back and forth like that. And then after the live stream, I always put decent photos of what I've made in the community section. So if you're having trouble seeing, I understand it's not the best quality on the live streams, but it's really just a way for me to troubleshoot designs. And what I'll do is I'm going to move this over too because we've got dirt on there. And what I will do is post a decent picture in the community section. So here's so far looking pretty good. And what I want to do now is do the legs, but keep them quite simple. So we're just going to take this one down here. And I'm not going to do it too detailed at all. So I'm going to just bring it straight up here. And then what I did in my drawing was I just brought this up and around. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of a curve here and then give it a good little tug so we've got just a little tuggy there what what also would be cute would be to do a heart there too late could have done a heart oh well maybe on another one so we're going to bring this one down and then we're going to bring this one up so make sure they're somewhat lined up that's pretty good and maybe I'll do a heart on another one because that would be cute. So here's the little legs, little stubby legs. And then we're going to bring this one up and that goes up to there. I think that's pretty good. And then down, 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 
and down and down. So how does that look? So that looks good. Looks similar to the sketch. So let's take this, bring that one around. Maybe it has to be a little bit longer. You can always like loop it, bring it down a bit and go like that to make sure they're about the same length. Uh, hi, Kathy. Baby Thumper Thumper. Your nickname. Aw. Cool. There we go. So now we are going to take this one up and again, do like we did in the back. If it's too thick, just wiggle it around a bit and it makes it a little more narrow. I'm gonna bring this one up, up, and then we're gonna do that little thing where we do a tug again. So we're just gonna start the loop and then give it a good little tug. And we will take that one down and take this one and bring it up. So now we have four legs. Cute. Very cute. See, like that. And we are going to do a little bit more wool here. A couple, couple little jiggles. And then we're going to bring this one down to do the tail. And we can, the tail's not super big, so we could just bring it down like that. That's cute. We're gonna bring like that and up and do a few more wiggles for the llama. Bring it up and see about the, that's cute. And maybe a couple more little wigglies here there and there and there and there. Um, how much though? I don't want to, maybe one, one more little one there and there. Okay, so this is our basic shape. If it got a little crinkly, so stinking cute, thank you. There we go, we're gonna bring that one. Llamas are adorable. There's a reason they're popular. People just find them so cute. They're very funny looking creatures. We've got that. And so we could bring that one down and up a little bit. I love just drawing with the wire like this. This is a little funny. It's not super even, but we can bring this one in a little bit more. Okay. There. Yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do today, and I'd ask you guys for suggestions. I guess it was yesterday, and nobody really said anything, so I'm like, well, why don't I just do a llama? And then if you guys have requests for other live streams, just let me know. This is doing something funny there, but you know what? I don't mind it. So we're going to take this and curve this around. I actually kept my wire too long, so better too long than too short. And now, so now let's just take this and bring that one around to attach it. Uh, that's well, that's a good position. Maybe I'll go around twice. And you can add a bead at the top if you want or not. I'm gonna give that a little clip. And then I'm going to do one where I put the little cute little blanket on the back too. Those are cute. So there is, oh, adorable. So we're going to take that and make a loop the other way. And that way you can hang it on earrings or pendant, whatever you want. So we're going to take that, bring that one around and around there and give that a clip. In here. Perfect. There is Llama number one. Cute. Perfect. Oh, that one's adorable. So let's bring that one up here so you can see. Llama number one. And now I'm going to do another one. I just have to blow my nose. Sorry. 
Maybe they're make Lama's making me sneeze. Okay. Now Heather's Lama's in a plant stick. Interesting. Okay, so this one I thought was cute too with dangling beads, but also one with like a little blanket on the back. That's what I wanted to try. And this one's cute with the little hearts, but I'm not sure I have any heart beads handy. I need like the little heart beads, which I'll maybe I'll find them. Oh, here's one. Let me just see. I have a bunch of beads here. These are like just a collection of my regular favorite beads. So there's one. There's, there's a heartbeat, it's a little bigger. And I don't think I have any matching ones, but I'm gonna keep those out in case I decide to do that one. And in the meantime, let's just get another wire. Uh, we can even get a, a thicker one if we wanna do a more simple outline. See, this, this is the same thing. You could do this t same type of idea with, the, with that on the back. Or we could do maybe this guy, like he's super, he's super simple too. So why don't we do that little chubby guy and I'll get an 18 gauge wire for that one. Let's do an 18 gauge and we'll go from there. Uh, so now, thank you. Okay, so now let us get maybe 16 inches, 15, 15 inches maybe. And I am going to, I'll have to go. Oh, Peggy, okay, well, have a great day. We'll see you on Facebook. There we go. Now, if we wanna do the creature here, we can, maybe I'll finish it on the back and then, then we could do some beading or something on there. So what if I just take this one here and slightly like trace it Let's see if we could do it that way, where we just trace it around. I, I, I do want to keep this one a little more cute. So we're going to bring this one around. This one I wanted to be a little more stylized. We're just going to keep it loose. We take that one and whoop, here. Um, we can almost adjust that after. So we're gonna bring this one here and then maybe I will just ashy. I don't know how many, I think I might just do, I might just do one like single legs to keep it very simple. It's gonna look a little blocky, but uh, this I also like too. Maybe I can combine these two because I like that idea. Okay, let me just straighten this out a little bit more. And actually, I could get my nylon jaw pliers to straighten that out if I had them handy. Let me just see. Oh, no. Let me just see what I have. I have all my tools in different places, but often I'll use the nylon jaw ones to straighten it out. But do I have them here? I might not. So let me just check my other piles. Here they are. So I have these nylon jaw ones. And when I make an error, this was Amber's suggestion. And we just straighten it out a little bit. So let's just do that. Perfect. To roll home fried chicken. Mm. Okay, so now let us just bring this around. I'm gonna straighten this one here too. Cause I started with one design and now I'm kind of going into this other design. So I don't know, if, uh, do I want it that way? I might have to adjust this a little bit. Like what if we came around here, bring this one down and around just because it looked like I was running out of wire if I did it the other way. So I'm gonna bring that one up and bring that one here, here, and then this one, 
it's just basically we'll show you like how to trace these templates more free form. I think I'm going to run out of wires, so that's okay. Uh, this is interesting. It's very different. Okay, so let's just sharpen those up a bit. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I might have to cut another wire because this looks like it's not going to do everything. And then if you want to kind of do this type of thing, but we want it a little, a little more like tight and then this one and then this see we're gonna run out of wire a little bit but this gives you an idea of that so let me just sorry I'm having allergies or something okay so let me just see so do I want to continue with this or not I think I'm gonna get another piece of oh well if I finish on the back it should work uh, let me just bring this one out because that this is more of a bubbly kind of look which you can do but now I'm thinking maybe I want to do more follow this one more as is so let's just try this and then this one how far out does it have to be like that yeah this is kind of neat oopsies there to here and then we're gonna bring it up. It has almost a horse-like face. And then this one, we're gonna bring it up. But I'm thinking we can do the loopy thing again, just to keep the design consistent. Let's just see if we can do the, the kind of a loopy thing again. I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna bring that one out and that way here and then out again it's kind of yeah i like it and down so now we're gonna that curve of the neck really makes it look like a llama that curve there so let's just go ahead with that bring it down and then this way maybe we don't have to start again because maybe we'll have enough wire and i'm just going to bring see this is still a little bit kinked in there but this is just to show you guys the method. Big eyelashes, yeah. Yeah, if I did a close-up of the face, you could do big eyelashes. That would be really cute. So now, let's just get this going here. These I'm gonna bring in a little more narrow. This too, a little more narrow. And as always, you know, you guys use the aspects of these designs that you like. You can combine designs. There's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, these, I'm just working things out so you guys have an idea of how you can approach it. So, and you could learn from my mistakes. Like if there's something I do that you don't like, then you don't have to do it. Now, this comes around here, but how do I wanna do this? So I wanna bring this down a little bit more and then how far down does it have to go to be the the llama this is so cute so question is now we have that how are we going to finish it because we want to do maybe some little beads or something this could also be uh, maybe a little a little brooch or something if you put a little brooch on the back and then we can do and then we can do little um what do you call it you can add some beads to it as well. So I do have brooches like that, like little pin backs, but currently I don't have the gold ones handy. Hmm, what if we did something like this? Okay, I'm gonna try something. We're gonna take this and take my flat pliers and around here would be a good place. So if I take this, and bring it around once and around twice. This I probably will backpedal with this design, but I'm thinking this might be interesting if you made your own pin. I was talking about some this to someone in the Wiremakers Club. She made a rose 
and wanted to know how to turn it into a pin. And, and you can often use the same wire to make a pin form. But what I can do is try that just to show you guys what I mean. So if you do that, and then this wire might not be long enough, but I can, I'm gonna just try it because I've got nothing to lose, right? So if I take this now and then take this one around, I'm probably gonna run out of wire. I'm gonna bring this one around here and probably one more time here. So what I would normally do is I have wire pin backs that I would attach with this same wire. I've done that many times with different designs. So I have a wire bar pin, not a thick one, a thin one that I put in the back to form a uh, pin, but maybe more with a 20 gauge wire. 18's a little thick, but it could become a shawl pin or something. So what you wanna do here, if you made, take this, bring this out, this could become your hook. And what I would do for that is probably cut it and file it. So say I trimmed it about here, and then you could take your reamer, let me grab it, or they call it a cup, burr, a burr cup, something like that. So you're gonna call this, this thing. And you're gonna take this and file the end. So recently I did a video with making little spring rings and I used this to soften the end and that way you don't have to actually like curve the end. But you can also use a file. And then we want to make a hook. So we're just gonna keep it simple because I don't have much wire. And just take this end and bend it. Maybe a little bit more. Let's get the round ones. So you wanna curve it around. This will become a kind of a hook. You can make it bigger if you want. Bring it so there's just like barely any space in there. So we've got a hook and then this one, especially if it's a thinner wire, I'm gonna bring this around a little bit more. And especially if we'd done this longer, cause if we had done this longer, I would have done, you know those loops? I would have done a sort of thing where you take this wire here and you actually like make a, a spring, loop it around and do like that. And then that forms the pin. So if I had more wire, I would make a loop there, but I do not, I do not have enough wire. So I would just take this and I would actually get my file and sharpen that. So we would actually cut it on an angle, see it's already more pokey, and I will get my file. So, here's the file. And we would file that in. So usually it's better to have the file on a, on a surface and then you just like rub it like that to file it. Or if you have an electric one, a Dremel or something, and you basically wanna file it around so that becomes sharp and soft and can be used as a pin. And then the idea is you would take this, make that little loop I told you about, but I don't have enough wire. And then you bring it over here. This would be straighter too. You bring it over here and that hooks. See this? With the spring, it's gonna work better and that will hook right into there and that becomes a brooch. See, that becomes a brooch and uh, might wiggle a little bit, but it's not too bad. And then now let's do a little saddle thing. So that's an idea of how you could turn this into a brooch. And from there, we are just going to adjust this as you need, make it a little taller. It's actually really cute like that. You almost don't need to add I'm almost afraid to add the, um, the little thing. Okay, so I almost, yeah. I, I would like to add the thing, but I'm not, now I'm not even sure that I want to. 
on this. It's going to become very busy. So let's just leave that one like that. Super cute could be a little pin, little brooch. So let's put that one at the side and we'll do another one. And we can even use darker wire. I don't know what color are llamas. Maybe they're not that dark unless I did a copper or something. What color do you guys think for the llama? Because I could do copper, I could do brown, I could do silver gold. Let me know what color for the next one. And then I'm gonna add like a little, a little um, thing on the back. Maybe I'll just do silver. I'm gonna do silver, sorry. I, I, I decided before I asked you guys, but I think it's gonna be better to do silver. And then, but I think I need a thicker silver because I want, to put a little bit more detail on this one. So if I can find some thicker silver, I have one, but it's not, I also have some white. Ooh, interesting. I have white, but I'm worried it might crack a little bit. Cause sometimes when the wire is older, it could crack. We can try it. Let's try silver. Now, I will take some, a decent size, I don't know, 18 inches or something. And we want to do a, we could do this type of simple shape, maybe. This one's pretty simple. And we're gonna do the little thing on the, on the back. So why don't we do that one? And I'll finish it at the top. I think it's gonna be easier. So I will go ahead and do the eye. I'll move this out of the way. So we're going to do the eye here and pull it a little bit more out. And then there's just a little nose thing. And maybe we could do some more of these like that. down and do we want little more feet like things or just yeah you I mean you can give the feet more shape if you want you could definitely give the feet more shape as opposed to some of the other ones it's totally up to you and then bring that one in and then here I think maybe I'll just do a single foot because, uh, are she, let me just bring this one down a bit. I think, yeah, let me just bring this one down. I should have like put this closer to there because I, I, I don't want so much. I want there to be a bit of like fur at the bottom. So we've got that. This might be a little awkward, but we're just gonna work with this and around i should have probably tra traced the shape but i'm just just kind of winging it here so we're gonna take this one around here and do the other foot so we've got two little funny feet there and this one out and up and then up here we could do more of a couple more like that so we've got this so far it's quite cute actually of course my wire is too long now we're going to bring that one around so this one we're keeping it quite simple and then if we want to do this I'm going to just hop it around here so rather than do fur on the back I think I'm going to keep it just like maybe just simple like that and then from here, we're just going to bring it around. So he's got a little humpy back. And I wonder if they're related to camels. Let me know if you guys know if they're related to camels. Because anyways, in this drawing, it looks like it's got more of a hump. And then we need to do the ear. So for the ear, we're just going to... The ears seem to be quite big, so let's just bring that one around here. And 
I'm gonna bend it back on itself. I'm gonna get some of these other ones out of the way. And let me know if you guys are still watching because we're very low in the comment department, but maybe that's, hopefully it hasn't frozen. I mean, I'm totally fine if you guys just wanna sit and watch, that's not a problem at all. I just don't want there to be issues with the, um, with the live stream. So you guys can let me know about that. And now what we're going to do is bring this one around. This is, I'm wondering if we can just finish this off here because I like the shape of it. I'm gonna just try to take this, bring that one around and I'm gonna clip it off. I didn't think to finish it that way, but I'm gonna try that here. Yay, Amber's here, awesome. Thanks, Amber. I just wasn't sure if the chat was frozen or what have you. So I am I think a lot of people are on vacation. And so there's super simple. And we could do another ear if you want to do the two. So say we want to do another ear. We can bring it around. And then I'm going to bend it back again with the flat pliers. And then I'll just trim it in here. That's actually kind of a cute way to finish it. I didn't think about that. So we're going to take this one in here, bring it out and in. And then all I have to do is clip that end. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. No, like I said, I don't mind if it's quiet. I just want to make sure you guys can still hear me and see me. So that's important. Now we have that here. That ear ended up being a little bit bigger, but we can trim it. So if it's too big, you just trim it and then you can push it in again. There. Oh, I'm not sure what this ear is doing, but it's all right. We'll just push it down a bit. And then we can, these tweezer nose pliers are good for that. You can get into small little areas. So that's good enough. So there's our llama. One ear seems to be sticking up a little bit, but it's all right. And I can maybe kind of bring them in a bit. Ah, oh, that is so cute. And I wasn't, you know, the idea was to put a little thing on the back, which you don't have to do, but it's, I think it would be cute with it. So there's llama like that. Now let's put a little, a little saddle thing on the back. Ruby, you're so amazing with wire. Aw, thank you so much. Appreciate that. So let's do a little, why don't we do a little beaded one on the back? So I will get some thinner wire. I have 24 gauge wire that I'm going to get. It's gonna be easier, 24. So, and thank you Beadalon for always sending me this amazing wire. Uh, they, uh, anytime I need different gauges or kinds of wires, they'll just send it my way. And, um, and I certainly appreciate that. So yeah, these videos aren't officially sponsored. They, I don't, they don't pay me to do the videos, but they give me all kinds of materials, which is amazing. So what are we going to do for the back? Because this one, I want to do it, but just with colored wire. So for this one, I want to put, I was thinking just some beads. Like, wouldn't that be cool? If Say we started with one bead, and then after we put beads around it. But the question is colors. And we have seed beads. So we have seed beads too. So I don't know colors. This Purple, I'm not sure it's going to go with a bunch of things. I mean, this is all my always my default. You guys know me and my turquoise. I think I'm just going to do turquoise because I love turquoise. And what I will do is take this. I always surround it with wire first. So we're just going to bring this one around. Surround it with the wire on both sides. Like we can do both ways. There we go. So we have the wire around the bead. See how it's gonna work. And what if we start here? I actually don't even know if, I should have started more towards one end maybe, but I think I have plenty of wire. So I'm gonna take this and bring it around. 
and then I take this one and wind it around. I'm going to wind this one around. Yeah. Okay, so we have these ones. And I think I'm going to clip one of them. So I'm going to clip off this because we're going to not be able to use it properly. So I'm going to clip that end. I should have started more to that end. And now we're going to put little rows of seed beads. But what colors are going to look good with that? That's the question. So let me get a bunch of these. Oh, I mean, I have my miracle beads too, which wouldn't that be cute? Maybe that would be better to do a row of... Let's try the miracle beads. They might be prettier. So I'll get some hot pink because I love hot pink. And if you guys don't already know, miracle beads are acrylic beads. They're very lightweight and they layer them up with lacquer. So they have a kind of three-dimensional quality to them. And they're, the color doesn't come off. They're very sealed in there. And they're not glow in the dark, but they have an impression of the glowing, like of being slightly three-dimensional. So you guys know they're my favorite, favorite beads. So what if we just put, okay, first of all, I'm gonna take this, bring that up to the surface and bend it down so it's right at the surface. Here, let me get this get my fingernail in there. You can do that with pliers. So what if we just did, oh yeah, I think the miracle beads are better. So I think we're only going to fit four there and I could do another row. So say we do four. Is that, wait, is that enough or maybe five would be better? Yeah, let's, let's try five. I was going to do seed beads, but I like the way the miracle beads look. They're so pretty. Okay, so there we go. There's a bit of a space, but if we do four, I feel like there's not gonna be enough. So let's do five and give it a good little tug. So we're gonna give that a good little tug. Fluorescent, yeah, they're not quite fluorescent, but they're definitely vibrant. So I'm gonna bring this one around. And again, what we want to do, I could do it a third time, actually. We're going to bring this one up, and then we're going to bend that down. So now we need another color on here. Let's do one more color. It's so pretty. Like I said, you could do these seed beads if you want. But we are going to do miracle beads. I have... Well, I don't think I want to do another turquoise. Um, I also don't want to use up all the colors that I use a lot. Oh, you know what I have? I have a bunch that are kind of two-tone that I generally don't use for my work because I use miracle beads a lot with my work and I don't want to use them up, the ones like the rainbow ones. So I have all my miracle beads in here and I have these ones here. So these are the uh, four millimeter and I have these that are kind of two-tone we can try those because I don't mind to use those up I think I got those at my wholesaler and they're pretty but they don't really super fit with the other stuff I make but we can try them they might work for this so how many are we going to need? We need, we use five for the first row. So maybe we can get away with seven or eight. Let's see. So that's six. Um, I'm not sure I love how those look, but we can check. We can, we could just rotate them for the photo and let's do another one here. Let me know if you guys think another color would be better for this. So we've got that one and then maybe one more. It and these ended up being a little bit large for the for the um the saddle thing because they I didn't necessarily want them to take up that much space, 
but it's just the nature of the size of the miracle beads that they end up being that big. But let me know if the green's okay. See, I could even like, when I take the photo, I can rotate these in a way that they look either all green or all ye yellow. So let's see what's better, yellow or green. I think I'll do that because I don't want to waste my beads. I think the I think the green's going to look better. So let's do that. We're going to rotate them so, so they're all green paper beads. Ooh, that'd be pretty. And for the second one, I'm going to actually do wire. So that's good. Let's just do that. I'll figure it out for the photo. But for now, let's just wind this one around around here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to clip that. And there we have super cute. I kind of like the big bead in the middle and then you've got these. So this is the super cute llama with the beads. And I'm just going to rotate these so they all look green. Cute. So that's this one. And now let's do one more. But I'm going to see if I could find another heart bead. And we will go from there. I'm going to put away the miracle beads because I'm going to have too much stuff on my table. And I thought it would be fun to do one with the little hearts. So people love hearts. I just don't know if my hearts are handy. I think this is it. There we go. Perfect. I think I got them. Here we go. All those are on my heart beads. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Oh, paper beads. Oh, thank you, Amber. So Amber just shared the link, I'm assuming for the DIY paper beads. Yeah, I did those quite a few years ago and I used to do a lot more videos with different crafty things. Like I had um, Jamie in the Wire Makers Club ask me to do food items and I actually on my in under my unlisted videos I had uh, sushi and hamburgers made out of Fimo and felt and all kinds of things so uh, they're on unlisted just because they're not really wire related but if you guys want to see them I could put the links below and um but I used to do a lot of food things so I actually that might be my next live stream to do some food items she wanted like pizza and I have a cupcake one that's super cute so maybe next time I do a live stream from home I'll do the um I'll do food let me know in the comments if you would want me to do some things like that so now we have the little heart so let's try to make this little guy with the beads I will do them in 20 gauge Silver wire, there's 20 gauge, so how much? Not, don't need a huge amount. Let's cut about 12 inches. Food would be fun, yeah. So let me know if you have suggestions, other suggestions for food. I have pizza and cupcakes for sure. I forget what else she asked for. So I've done whisks for people that are bakers. Now let's again start with the little nose because it's so cute. And I will just take this and I'm gonna move these out of the way. And the templates are gonna be available in my Etsy DIY shop within 24 hours. You can always get the templates for my live streams. They're only a buck. And if you buy five or more templates, you can use the coupon code SAVE25. So that's capital S-A-V-E and then the number 25 and you can get 25% off your entire purchase so that's worth it and then you have the templates that you can print out and trace and yeah I started doing that a couple of years ago and people really seem to appreciate it and um, it helps support my channel as well so I appreciate that uh, very much and uh, actually somebody tipped me on my comment section and I guess I have a setting on YouTube that you can leave tips and super chats and things like that. So that was much appreciated. Um, thank you very much. If you guys want to support my channel in any way, I super appreciate it. 
there we go so we're going to bring this one up and then bring this one up yeah up we go so we've got the little nose here i don't know how big to make it maybe it doesn't need maybe i could bring it up a little bit more maybe it doesn't have to be that big i'm going to bring it up a little bit more just rotate it up a little bit more okay and now we are going to see if we can put the eyes on there and see how that's going to work. Sushi. Yeah, the sushi was fun. I did, I actually did two different sushis. I did one out of felt and one out of um, beads, I think. So I don't know if this is going to work with these eyes. We are going to see. This is why we do these live streams to figure out if the design is going to work. So what's that, Mirta? Cam Cameroons? Cameroons. Is that sushi? Uh, I'm not sure what Cameroons is. I know what macaroons are. So here's, this might look really silly with the, with the eyes. I'm not even sure. Maybe I'll add them after. I could even add them after, like, because it's, the idea is they're sort of like little sunglasses things. So... I thought about doing this, but I don't know if it's going to be a good idea. It looks a little silly, and I'm not sure if they're actually going to sit. They're going to start to rotate a little bit, but I can maybe see how well we're going to do with that. So what if we just bring this one up? I'm going to start the ears just to keep them super simple, and then I'm going to do a little loop here to hang it with something maybe a jump ring or something so if we just have very simple i can always start this over if it doesn't work bring that one up and then bring this one down for the other ear so this is what we've got so far but i'm not sure i'm loving how these are working because what you probably would have to do is hold put this in a way that it's going to actually hold in place that one and then this one I'm just going to play with this for a minute I think it's not going to work so what if okay I'm going to I think I'm going to start it again so this is this let me just play with this for a bit so I'm actually going to cut this that's not what I I didn't like how that's going but what if we get a thinner wire 24 gauge. Uh, where is the 24 gauge? I have so many wires on my table now. There's 24, so let's get some 24 gauge. Hi, Catherine. There we go. She has a new pin. Yes. Simple shawl pin. Well, this one can be made into a pin. Uh, and these little extension wires, you'll see if you can watch the replay, um, within an, a few days, we'll have some timestamps that you can go directly to that one. So, and I also have other tutorials for simple shawl pins with more abstract designs as well. So you can definitely find stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just try to, what I try to do so my don't, my hearts don't flip is I try to go through the wire twice, but with this one, I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to uh, work because the hole is small. So what if, I'm just gonna see how this looks if I bring this one up here. Okay, now I'm just playing with the beads to see if we're gonna get these to work. So it's kind of cute this like that but I'm not sure the best way to do this. And then we bring this one, it's kind of fun. It doesn't, no, so if we bring these like that. And then if we had that, they're a little crooked, but they might work. So I'm just gonna bring this one out a little bit more because I find that I want a little bit more space at the bottom. So I'm just gonna bring these ones out a little bit. Mm, no, I like it better when it's tighter. Okay, so 
if you need the if you need the hearts not to flip, you have to have a wire at the back. That's the thing, because otherwise they're gonna flip all over the place. But if we do something like this and this, then they're attached and they're not really flipping. I'm just not sure how well they're gonna sit. So let's start the let's start the um, lamb again. I'm gonna get some wire. And yeah, so anytime you're looking for tutorials on my channel, just go to the search bar and search for, like you can search for shell pins, you can search for, you know, anything that you're looking for. And then um, often I already have a tutorial that may help. So have a look, search the channel. And then if there's something specific you want, you can email me at info at heatherboyandwire.com and I can do custom tutorials as well so just let me know so we're going to bring this one down and I'm going to start again to do the face of the llama okay so there's the little cute little nose that we did in I think the very first one we did like that and then from here I want to keep it quite simple so we're just going to do like big long ears they almost look like cat ears or something but we're just gonna keep, I'm trying to keep it stylized. So we're gonna bring this one up. And then we're gonna bring this one down. It might not look like a llama after all, but like I said, you do you do what you want with these with these designs and make them your own if you have other ideas. So this is what we have here. And then we're gonna bring this one quite down a little bit more, okay? and then out, so because the neck's a little long. So we're gonna bring this one out and then down. Okay, so this is what we have so far, keeping it simple. And then we want the little tail and down. And then I'm just really gonna keep these super simple. Just, just two legs, we're not gonna do four legs like we did in the previous ones. We're just gonna keep it super simple. And then that one down here. Cute. So I'm gonna bring it just over a little bit more. I want a little more stubby legs. So I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit more. And over here. Okay, and keep it very simple. If you want larger circles, we'll just make them a little bit more large with the larger round pliers. And now we're going to take this and bring it up. Is that maybe a little bit more down and up? Cute. Okay. And normally my sister hops on the live stream, but she's on an airplane. I got to uh, hang out with her for quite a few days. She came to visit me from out west, and now she's on a plane. So unless she has Wi-Fi, she um, she won't be hopping on the live stream today. So this is, it's actually a really cute shape, this, but the hearts are gonna be like too big now. So that's unfortunate, I'm not sure how we can fix that so they can fit. Maybe if we just make these a little bit more pointy. I don't even think I have smaller beads than that. I think that's the smallest heart bead I have. So I'm gonna have to see if I have something else. If we move these down and then this one too, maybe we can move it down, the nose down a little bit and this one, just so we have more room for the beads. So if we have that, and then I haven't figured out how I'm going to attach these, like those things here, but maybe there's another way that I can do this. I mean, these are a little big, so I think that's not gonna work. So maybe I should have just put bead eyes on there. It might've been easier just to do bead eyes but at this point, I don't think there's any way I can get some beads on there. And these are gonna be, miracle beads are gonna be 
well, a little big. Maybe these ones, I'm just gonna see. Maybe some of these ones, a little big, maybe a little red one, maybe a little red bead. What color eyes are llama's eyes? I don't know what color eyes they have. Woo, that's a lot of beads. So we could put little green eyes or something could be cute. Uh, but what I'm thinking is, I wonder if we could, what do you think for colors of eyes? Because we could probably move these around to get them on there. We just have to go around these curves. I don't know if this is going to work or not. When you're trying to kind of backpedal a little bit. And hopefully this is not going to break. So if we bring it around here, there. So we've already got the bead in the right position here. But this one, we're going to bring it down and see. There. And bring it up here. So, I mean, that could be cute. But how are we going to get it? Are we going to be able to get it to stay in place? That's the thing. I should have just done the bead eyes to begin with. That would have been better because I think trying to add them now is going to be really hard. So let me get another wire. Sometimes it's easier to start over than black, brown, amber, orange, gray, and blue. Ooh. Okay, so let's, let's start again. Very quick. So we're just going to do our nose again. And hopefully I can recoup that wire because the heart beads were too big. That wasn't going to work. And we're going to bring this one. I guess if you did a larger llama, it could work. So we're just going to bring this one up and up. And this one, we can bring it up a little bit more. And then for the eyes, let's bring one in. And even blue, right? Eh? So let's see what I got. Mm. What if we put it the turquoise blue on there? Just so it shows up it might be better. Although I do have like these little ones that are brown. Okay, I have these little ones that are brown. Let me try the brown ones. Okay, here's a brown. I mean brown's alright too. Brown or blue? What do you think? Brown or blue? Because I have the brown or I have the blue. Here's the blue one. I mean, blue shows up maybe better. So why don't I do blue? And this guy, I'll figure out what to do with him later. Okay, so we've got the blue and we're just going to wind this wire around. Whoop. Oopsies. Okay, hopefully it's gonna sit in there. Okay, bring that one in and up. Okay, so there's the blue. And let's do another one here and we're gonna bring the wire to the back. So now we don't want it too wide. Uh, let me see, is that small? Yeah, we want it pretty small. We can try this one. Okay, silver and blue always look great together. Yeah, I like that combination. So here's the other blue one. Hopefully they're the same tone. Okay, so here's blue, little blue beads, just to give you an idea of how it looks. So there's the blue here. Mm -hmm. And this way, this way, just the way it looks like that. And then we're going to do, oh, that should be maybe to the back. Okay, we're gonna do it the opposite way just because that's how, that's how my wire is turning out. So we're gonna bring this one down and then bring the wire into a little loop. They look a little like cat ears, but I'm just trying to keep it somewhat stylized. So bring this one down. Okay, so we've got that. I don't know if they, 
if I bring them out that way, they're going to look less cat-ish. Or if I bring them in that way, I bring them in that way. Let's go to see. So, um, is still in the picture? There we go. Oh, and then this, yeah, this comes, this comes to the back. I think that should be all right. Oh, so this works. And then we're going to bring this one down. So this, this is coming down here. And then we want to form the, I think it's going to be too big for the template. Well, it's not too bad. And then we're going to just bring this and go up, up, and then across. Because I kind of want it to be a little stubby. And then up. So this is what we have so far. The idea is to do like a little stubby kind of stylized um, llama. That's kind of cute. Um, and like I said, you can curve these out a little bit more if they're too squared. We can, yeah, we could definitely curve those out a little more. They're always cuter when they're a little more curvy and not too geometrical. So we've got that. Okay. Silver and blue. Yeah, silver and blue is nice. So now we're going to take this, bring it down, and then up here and around. Okay. So let's bring this one up the back. I'm not going to make the back too curvy because I'm going to put, I'm going to put the um, sort of wires on the back to do a, a little like blanket thing. But now I'm hoping this is going to actually be big enough to do that. So now I have these two ends that maybe I shouldn't have done that loop at the top. I probably should have just made my finishing and made a loop at the, but I don't think I can, I don't think I can change that now. I'm kind of regretting doing that loop. I don't know if I can take that loop out. It's going to be funny, but let's try it. Yeah, I realized that I don't really need that loop. I can just finish it in a different way. So let's try to undo that loop. Might wire might break, but I don't want that loop anymore. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Um, let me pull this one over a little bit. There must be something I can do with that. Not sure what. Okay, because that's, yeah, I don't want that loop. So what do I want to do? I'm going to bring this one up here. Mm-hmm. Looks really funny. And I don't really want to start it over, but I might have to. I'm going to bring that one here. Let me see if I can just straighten that out a little bit. I can always remake it for the photo and for the template so you guys can see how it would look. Well, now he's gonna have a way long uh, neck. But what if we, first of all, make these a little bigger, which they can be. Bring that one down and then make this one, bring this one up. Mm hmm and then bring that one down. Oh, next a little, it's not horrible, guys. Considering I just took that loop completely out, it's not awful. These are making more like very rounded ears, which is all right. I just didn't like that loop because I decided to finish it in a different way. So sometimes it's worth it to backpedal like that. I'm going to bring this one down a bit more. Bring this one up. And that one down. 
Okay, so how's that looking? Yeah, they're definitely nice little cartoony ears, which is cool. Bring this one here and then this, yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> it's cute. It's a very long neck. So what we can do also is just make him a little chubbier. We're gonna bring this one up a little more and then this one will make the back maybe a little more around here so we can fix that a little bit. There's always little things you can do to adjust it. Now this one looks almost like a little kid's drawing, which is a good thing. So we're gonna fix that up there. Football team. Okay, so now let us still continue to fix this a bit around here. And this should come to the back. So we're gonna have to bring this through and this one needs to come to the back because we're gonna finish it at the back. So there we go. Somehow, is that gonna work? Yeah, I think that should work all right. So that comes to the back. Uh, this one, we just gotta bring that one in a little bit more. Yeah, the, the wire's a little bit kind of crinkled a bit, but it doesn't matter. It's just for the design. Oh my God, that is cute. So cute. And what I'm gonna do now is bring this one just to the back here. So rather than finish it with the loop, we'll just finish it at the back. So this is gonna come up and it'll be behind so it won't be as in your face. I'm gonna bring that one here. And no, it's not easy working with small pieces. So we have this one. This is gonna be on the back. Should be all right. go okay now this one maybe has to curve out a little bit more looks a little bit more like a giraffe the neck look does look pretty long but that's mainly because um I had to make the neck longer to get rid of that loop but you know do whatever proportions you like there we go. So here's the, oh, that looks weird. Okay, um, I'm gonna bring it down a bit more. Yeah, the back, the back. I think rather than having the back too long, I'm just gonna keep it with a really long neck. I think it's gonna look better. So it's gonna be a cross between a giraffe and a llama. I think that's better because otherwise the body is way too thick. Okay, so that's kind of cute because I don't really know how I can make the neck longer otherwise unless I just made the ear longer, which I can, but then it's gonna have one ear longer. I think that's the max that I can make it here. These are funny. Anyways, you're gonna get the idea for the design and even if the proportions are wonky. So now we have the, the, the llama with his very strange fat ears. Let's push them in a little bit more. Let's push them in a little bit more. Okay. And now we want to attach this at the top. So we're going to take this, line it up, and then curve that around here, and then just wind it around that vertical wire. That's pretty good. Let's do it a couple of times. There. And trim it. And we'll just do a little loop at the top so we have some way to hang it as a pendant. So we're gonna bring that one around and I will just wind it around here. 
there. And trim it. So now we have our basic adorable llama and the loop is at the back so it's a little more discreet. I mean this is cute and you can do any proportions you want but now what I want to do is a little saddle thing. So here's cute little llama and now let's get some wires for the colors. So we are going to maybe do some pink. What else do I have? I just need three colors. I have purple, which is maybe not contrasty enough. I have red. So you guys tell me what, I wanna choose three colors for the saddle, but I'm not sure which colors. So let me check what I have. I have light blue. I also have green. Let me get the green one. also copper which is more like orange which might be nice so I have green and I have orange thank you hi Stacy first time catching me live yay I'm so happy we that's awesome I'm so happy you found my channel I have such a blast doing these designs especially doing these live streams because I thrive on creating new designs. And these, these are like hot off the press designs that I work on on the spot. I've never made these before. So this is, I've got, I did the sketches yesterday and I'm just working on the designs now. So let me just cut a bunch of these colors and let's choose a cup. Let's choose three that go well together. I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these babies. Wow. And then we also have blue. Um, there we go. This is a weird blue. Let me see if I have a better blue over here. Um, I think I have a better blue. And just so you guys know, this blue and purple are actually aluminum wire that I bought in Barcelona many moons ago and I used to buy a lot of wire in Barcelona when I would go there but to have it shipped to Canada it's like $300 to ship my the aluminum wire that I love from there so if anybody is in Spain and wants to chat about sending me some wire um, you know of course I would pay you for the shipping and stuff maybe we can discuss that because um, I don't know why shipping was so horrendously expensive. Okay, so Stacy, uh, I've done a dragonfly, yay! Butterfly, ladybug, yay! You're in Manitoba, fellow Canadian, yippee! So Stacy, you can email me anytime at info at heatherboydwire.com if you need any help with your designs, and um, I would be happy to help you. Yep, for sure. So now we are going to choose, did we choose three colors yet? You have to go in no time. Uh, no worries, uh, we'll be done, uh, Amber. I'm almost done. All we have to do is the, um, all we have to do is the, the thing on the back and then we're gonna go. So, but I just need to know three colors that are gonna look, look good together and to form the, the little thing on the back, but maybe not blue because we have blue already. Maybe green. I don't know. I'm so undecided. We need three colors or more. Maybe the red is cute too. So what I was thinking though would be really fun would be to do some little loopy things. Maybe I need a bigger piece of red. Purple. Yes, I do have purple. It's a thick purple. I won't do it for the first layer. And what I'm gonna do is pink. Blue and pink is nice. Yep, blue and pink is really nice too. I think I'm gonna start with the red and just do the, what I was thinking would be cute is to do a bunch of loops. Oh, I could do that with the pink too. Pink would be nice. Let me get the pink. 
Okay, so I have this pink and what I wanna do is just do a bunch of loops. Well, let me choose whichever one is thinner. I'm gonna use the thinner one because I wanna do loops, but I don't want them to take up too much space. So what if I just tried this, did a bunch of little loops, and then we're gonna go from there. So we're just gonna do, I don't know how many we need. Do a bunch of little loops to make to look like tassels on a blanket because it's very South American looking. Reminds me of like a little blanket you would get in Guatemala. I went to Guatemala and um, bought a beautiful blanket there and ended up giving it to my mom and she used it for years as a yoga blanket. And she doesn't do yoga anymore, but uh, yeah. So look at how cute this is. If you do a bunch of loops, curve it around and that can become sort of like the little blanket. Maybe we'll do one more. Let's do one more loop. And curve it around, one more loop. And that should be good. Oh, that's adorable. And then we have to bend this down. And this one too, we're gonna bend it down. This is a little long. Blanket, blanket Samantha. That's cool, purple. Maybe we could do purple. We're going to see. I'm going to do the red first. And we're going to stick this on here. But now it has to be a little bit. I think the neck has to be a little bit. Or the back has to be a little bit longer to be able to accommodate the blanket. So I've just tried to make it a little bit longer. We're going to stick this one on here. Make sure my arm, my hands aren't off. So this is cute. So we've got this and rather than try to twist it around, I'm just going to clip it because otherwise it's going to be really bulky. So we're going to clip that. And I have a big cleanup to do after this. And we're going to take this and bring it down. And then this one. So we're going to clip this and bring that one in. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's so cute. So now we want the next color to contrast. So I don't know if green is going to contrast or maybe the Orange is going to contrast. I mean, red and green are kind of Christmas colors, so I don't know if I want that or not. So why don't we try the orange in there next? And for the next ones, I'm just going to do a straight line. I'm not going to do more loops because that's going to take too long. So if we take this one and hold it in place, just hold it right in there and then bend it around again. So we're going to clip that and pinch that in. And this one too, bring it, clip it. What have we got so far? It's so cute. Now we can do purple mix maybe next or pink. How about the green and then the purple? Maybe or blue and the purple. I might do the I might do the um I might do the uh, blue. The aluminum is actually much easier to work with because it's very soft. Um, the copper, some of them are a little bit stiff. So let's try the blue and then we'll do the purple. And then the, these ones, this guy will have a little taste of Spain because those wires came from Spain. 
I was talking to someone from Spain on my Etsy. She asked me which, she had bought a bunch of jig patterns and she asked me which um, jig I use. And the jig that I use is the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. And I looked on Amazon and in Spain, they don't offer that one. Um, Cause when somebody asked me for something, I definitely go out of my way and I checked Amazon Spain for her to see if she could find it. And it, they only offered this thingamajig one, which I have never used. So I can't guarantee it's the same size as the Artistic Wired Deluxe Jig Kit. So I searched for her and I found a whole bunch of them on eBay in, um, in Spain. So I referred her to the eBay page and she can get the Artistic Wired Deluxe Jig Kit there. Hi, Arzu, how are you? Beautiful. We can do fish. I've definitely done some fish before. I can add that on my list of live streams to do like a whole live stream about fish. Let me write that down. So, Arzu, fish. And I will try to remember to link up some tutorials for what I already have, but yeah, it'd be fun to do a whole live stream with fish. Here, we're gonna add another color. So we're just like slowly going in here and adding our little loops of wire. So I'm trying to hold it in place so it doesn't get too distorted. So is that down enough? We might be able to do one more after this. Here. This one got a little bit, I pulled it a little bit out of place. So we're actually to fix that. We're just going to take this, unroll it and roll it again. And we're going to put this back on here. Oh, thanks, Amber. You found the fish. That was quick. Lickety split. And I better move my, my butt because Amber has to go. I have to go. So let's just finish this quickly. And the, I'll put a picture in the community section. So there we go. We've got this. We're going to bring this one down and clip, clip it here, clip it there, and then bend it in. Now let's see if we're going to actually have room for another color. We're getting a little tight in here. There. Perfect. So look, oh my goodness, guys, this is the cutest thing ever, honestly. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to put the green one in there because we have one more color left. So let's go ahead and we're going to have to bend it quite small to actually fit in there, like very small. And then I'm going to actually pre-turn these ends. Otherwise, we're never going to get it to do anything proper in there. So let's see if that's going to fit. Oh, a little bit bigger, maybe. Okay, actually, I've already scratched the wire a little bit. So I'm going to try this again. All those five links are fish. Wow. I guess I've done fish before. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this one down. Yeah, I've done like so many different things on the live streams and the tutorials that uh, often if you ask me for something I've already done it and I've already forgotten that I've done it so there we go so let's put this one on here mm -hmm. it should work I don't know why this wires I'm scratching it a little bit but that can happen sometimes okay so let's clip this guy And all we have to do is get our tweezer pliers there. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. There's a little bit of a gap there. So I'm not sure that you could put a bead. You could actually put a bead there. Like it's too late now. But if you do this one and you want that little gap in the back to be covered. Put a bead first thing, like put a bead actually on the wire before you finish it off and do that. Cause if you put a little bead on the wire there, it's gonna fill in the gap and 
it'll look correct because these little ends go above the wires. So that would look correct if you put a bead on first and then you put your wires on there, but it's too late for me. So guys, let's see what we made. We did a lot of stuff today. Beyond adorable, yay. So we did a lot. So here's this little guy with the beaded blanket, which I'm gonna just turn these all so they look green. Here's a very simple one that ended up being like a pin with a pin back. Okay, that's the pin back. So that's a little stylized pin that can be made larger as a shawl pin even. And you can chuck it. You can always hammer these a little bit to harden them up. Classic little llama. And then this little guy, did I only make four? I, I worked a lot though, we did a lot. So this one, so guys, which is your favorite? I'm gonna bring these up so you can see them. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And I will take a proper photo and put the photo in the community section. Uh, the templates will be available in the next 24 hours. The ones with the color will really pop. Awesome. And I'm gonna flip the screen and say goodbye. So let me do that now. I'm just gonna come around and flip the screen. There we go. So guys, thank you so much for hopping on the live stream. And uh, thank you, Amber, for always moderating the chat. And next week, there might or might not be a live stream because I'm going to be out of town. I might, I'm going to be visiting a creator space in Toronto uh, as part of the Buffer Festival. So if I have time, I'm going to do like a one hour, half an hour uh, live stream next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Stay tuned. I'll put details in the um, community section. I'm going to put photos of these in the community section, links to the templates in the next uh, 24 hours. Amber's going to do the timestamps, no rush Amber, in the next few days. So that way you can hop to the project that you want. So thank you guys everyone for your amazing feedback, your great suggestions. Always have an amazing rest of the day, rest of the night. I have another uh, great tutorial coming on Saturday for, you know, my classic rings to make and sell. So now I've made one that's adjustable and that was thanks to Dee's suggestion to make an adjustable button ring. So there's going to be a tutorial for the adjustable classic rings to make and sell. So those are awesome if you're selling at craft shows and things like that. So I'm sorry, I can't see your comments anymore, but thank you so much everybody for hopping on. And we will see you in the Wiremakers Club and we will see you the next time.